Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavec Movies. My name is John and this is going to be an unboxing of a subscriber mail I've received from Tom Pearson. Tom Pearson got in touch with me and said, could I send you something? I thought, yes, yes, please. That, that's absolutely brilliant. He said, it's just a little something, but I, I bet it's not. Uh, so I'm going to say that a shout out to Tom Pearson, who doesn't have a YouTube channel. I would love him to have a YouTube channel, actually. But this is his Instagram account. I'll leave a kind of, I don't know if I can leave a link to it. I don't know how you can link them things. But if I, if I can't, I will put a, a description of what to search for. You will have to search for Tom Pearson, or it's, the channel is T Art. And the, the main thing about uh, Tom's channel is it's just all full of his artwork that he does. And it's absolutely brilliant, I've got to admit. I've seen this, I've seen some amazing art on yeah, YouTube. And this is right up there with that, with the, the best of them. Okay, also, so this is what I received in the post today, hiding uh, all of the, the various um, addresses. And also this came as well, so I thought, well, I'll just, I'll do them, I'll do them both. I'll do this one. Uh, me as well and uh, I will get this one next and then I'll give some shout outs at the end of the video because um, why not so deep joy yeah. so what has been delivered from Amazon today is and I ordered this yesterday actually it's one of my favourite albums of all time and I was really, because I've been getting into this band again, I've been watching some of their stuff on the, uh, on YouTube and, and my wife actually likes this uh, this band as well. Um, and of course I went to look for, I thought I'll put this in the car and uh, I hadn't got it. I couldn't believe it so I thought right I'm going to have to get it out and get this uh, ordered. I think it was about 7 .99. it's Rancid's 1995 album and now come the Wolves. If you want to ever get uh, a rancid album what a title uh, this is the one to get some of the songs in here are absolutely brilliant in fact the album's like one of them albums that you get it's like a full album and you just think every song in it's a winner so for me this is their best album by far so let's see what we've got here i'm going to be very careful opening this nurse scalpel thank you okay that took a bit of doing uh, there's also a note in there, I can just see there's a note in there, so I'm going to pull this out there and read the note for you. So yes, it is from Tom and it says, Hi John, hope you like the drawings and you know who they are. You can hang them in your music room next to your drums. If anyone is interested in checking out my artwork, please go to my Instagram page, Tom Pearson 1960. Well, as you saw at the start of this video, excellent. So yes, make sure you go to that page because the artwork on there is fantastic. Um, some of the some of the things in there are just honestly they're absolutely brilliant, and it seems to be more like a uh, pencil art. Uh, hope you hit that 1,000 soon. Well, that would be amazing if that happened, and it's uh, it's amazing where I am at the minute, actually. And uh, that's I've got a big thank you to say to everybody who's subscribed to me uh, in the past like eleven months. It's been a fantastic ride. I've enjoyed it immensely, and I've met people like Tom, who always comments on my videos, and uh, you know we we'll have some great banter and some chit chat and everything on here. I just like everything about YouTube, and when I get to a year. On YouTube I'm gonna do a sort of video to sort of recap and what happened in the whole year that was and uh, so I'm really excited to do that so thanks Tom really appreciate that that's absolutely brilliant uh, so in here we have take that out now be very careful with this because Tom's uh, put this very uh, well in here and I don't want to uh, cause any problems <laughs> oh oh there's more now this this is incredible and I'll, t I'll tell you why because um on on Tom's um uh, Instagram page I'm a bit speechless actually um, on Tom's Instagram page, he puts like lots of stuff that he's put on there. And obviously I've seen quite a lot of his uh, drones and I've thought to myself, if it was a drone, 
what could it possibly be? Because I've I've seen all the ones on there, and there's quite a few on there. I thought, oh, it'd be brilliant if that was one of them. But what he has sent us is something else, something that I haven't seen on his Instagram account at all. And it is a picture of, an amazing picture of Jerry Only from The Misfits. Now I hope this can do this justice because I've got, um, the, the lighting here is not that great. Uh, I will sort of, I'll probably tag on the end of this video, the, the shout outs and also come back to this uh, this picture. So he has drawn me Jerry Only, who is the bass player from The Misfits. I've met Jerry Only quite a few times. I have a, I've had a great experience with him. His son's men met him. He's took had photographs taken and everything. But that is just absolutely unreal. He's captured Jerry Only to a... Well, I, I, can't, I can't even describe how he's captured it. It's just literally... I, I hope this can pick this up. This is Jerry's sort of um, signature... Uh, glare and he's also got his devil lock in there or what's left of it and uh that is that is incredible uh tom it really is i mean look at that this is this is just unreal that will be definitely going into my studio next to my drums okay there's also there's more in there i wonder how long that took honestly I can draw to a certain extent, and my versions of Jerry Only are nothing like that. In fact, they don't look like a, they look like a sort of caricature of Jerry, Jerry Only. They don't actually look like the real person. I have to make sure I get these out very carefully. I don't do any damage to any of these. So that the next thing that uh, Tom sent me in here I was only expecting one one picture when he said it is. I knew it, I knew it. Wow, and I just double checking. Yes, that's now. He sent he sent Jerry only. Of course he has because Jerry only is the the bass player from the Misfits. So what else do you think he would have sent in there? He's only went and sent Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein, who is the brother of Jerry only, who I've met. Uh, I've had a couple of chats with him. He's not very talkative, I'll tell you that much for nothing. He's a gig he's a giant bodybuilder. He's all six foot six of them or however tall he is. He's That's so good. And the the, the thing I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to because I follow Doyle on uh, Instagram, I'm gonna tag I'm gonna put this video this picture on, I'm gonna tag Doyle in this video, this picture, sorry to see what he makes of it. Sometimes he comments and he replies to things, but I think he might reply to this one because I've seen some Doyle art in my time, but this one here is just absolutely astounding. Now, I just want to thank Tom once again for that. I mean, the eyes, it's just its just incredible. I can't really, I don't think I can put them, but well, I'm going to try and get them together if I can, because obviously I'm just, my wife's going to be amazed at this because she does uh she's she's seen doyle live and her words were my god he's a giant and uh wow at the hair and everything no it's captured you've captured everything here tom i've got to admit that's you couldn't have painted or drew a better picture for me than the two my two favorite people in the misfits and i've met them both and i've got good stories to tell about them on my uh, John Perry show channel which I will now be setting up and uh, it's all I'm going to talk about the misfits as well and th these things are going to feature on there can't wait to get them framed can't wait to get in the shop and get some frames for these things my wife's going to be blown away by this never ever expected this Tom I've got to admit um, I don't know what I expected I probably expected something that was in in your sort of uh, the ones that you'd actually done uh, on uh, your Instagram account and I thought oh well, I might be getting something maybe like a I don't know a Clint Eastwood or something like that but uh, if you wanted to get me anything you couldn't have made a better picture than these two so you've got Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein real name Paul a bit of a strange real name for somebody isn't it and Jerry only real name Jerry obviously and I just want to thank you once again. I cannot express how grateful I am for receiving those these uh, 
these two pictures. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this video and then I'm going to do some shout outs because uh, I'm at work tomorrow. I'm going to finish work. I'm going to do some shout outs. I'm going to put them on the end of it and make this a, quite a, a, a big full video. And uh, I'll be contacting you before that, obviously, Tom, on Instagram uh, Messenger. And uh, I'll be showing these again in the light because I think the light will, will make these stand out a bit more. So thanks very much, Tom. I really do really massively appreciate this. I can't, my wife's picking my son up from work now. I can't wait to show her when she walks through the door. So thanks very much, uh, Tom. And I will then show these again in the light with a few shout outs. Cheers, mate. Okay, new day, new light source. So let's show these uh, pictures off one more time from Tom. And I hope this does it justice on this one. I can't really see because I'm seeing the glare from the reflection from my air. Uh, my screen there but I'm going to try and get some real close-ups of this, some of the details that Tom's put on these pictures uh, this one of Jerry own is absolutely it's just I know the picture it's actually copied off uh, I remember seeing that one online so this one is just absolutely it's just absolutely brilliant like I say the uh, the whole artistry artistry of this is just phenomenal and Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein get some close-ups of the uh, the eyes especially in, in Doyle's picture and his hair as well with the he puts this black electrician's tape on his hair which stops it flapping all over the place he used to have it quite loose the devil lock and it just end up just flattening all over his face so I think that's why he started to uh, to keep it at bay a little bit so there you go fun fact Doyle never cut his uh, devil lock off in the whole 13 years that the misfits had been uh, disbanded for so there you go um, so that's absolutely amazing. These are sort of straightened out a little bit. I'll be now going into the shops to find some uh, suitable um, frames for these. And these will be going up in my um, studio. And also when I start my John Perry channel, uh, that's going to be, these are going to be featured in it because I'm going to talk about the Misfits quite a lot in there. Not, It's not for this channel, but it's, it's for my other channel. So Tom1960 on Instagram, please get over there. And check out his stuff he does loads of other things these are probably just he did these because of he knows of my love for the band the misfits so uh there you go that's hopefully they are in the better light and you'll be able to see them in all their glory and uh, when i get them framed i'll be showing them off again as i'm going to get all my art that's been dropped through recently on subscriber mail i'm going to get that all competitions i'm going to get that all framed and i'll be doing a sort of video on my uh, gallery in my studio so thanks once again, Tom. I really do appreciate that. So yesterday we went across to Newcastle City Centre and we had a look through CEX, which was pretty poor actually. And one of the uh, shops, there's two in Newcastle, and one of the shops, the Blu-rays was pretty much stripped out. In fact, it was a, the least Blu-rays ever I'd ever seen in this shop, which was a bit odd actually, to be honest. Then went to the other shop, which was packed with Blu-rays, and they were pretty poor to be to be honest. Some of them had the most ridiculous prices on them, as well as some of them being ultra cheap. But the, the quality of the cases was absolutely just garbage. So anyway, I didn't. Uh, there's no point in spending stuff when it's just going to be something you're just not going to need. So I, I did go to HMV and I spent quite a bit in HMV. But um, one of the things I got in HMV, I picked up straight away because I saw it. Every time I want it, it's not there. And when it's there, I kind of hum and haw about it. So this time I saw it for 14 99 and it was the Robocop um, Arrow box set, the like special edition. And I had it in my hand, I thought, right, it's only 14 quid, 15 quid, it's not going to uh, break the bank. But as I was going around, I was picking other things up, the stack was getting a bit high, I thought, do I really need this box set? Because that's what I could think every time I get this box set out, and I think, right, this is it, I'm going to get it. You know, it could be £20, could be £15. It's probably going to get lower, actually, because this is the special edition that just doesn't seem to sell out. So funny enough, I was talking to Stephen Monkey Mason about this, link down below to his channel in HMV when I was in there in the Gateshead the other day and we were talking about the fact of this Robocop special edition being the one that's just out there all the time I think they just uh, oversold it they, they put it out far too quickly they didn't have it there was too much saturation on the market of Robocop in in general and uh, it it just was meant that when people went to go for it they weren't that bothered about getting a, a special edition so this is why they can't they can, they're practically given it away now but uh, so I picked it up and I thought, right, I've got this uh, special edition. I'm going to keep this with us. Uh, the stack started to grow. There was a lot better titles out there. And I thought, right, as I do with Robocop all the time, and I thought, 
do I really need this special edition? Because yeah, it'll be great. It'll look nice on the shelf, but that's all it will do. It'll just go on there, be on the shelf. I'll probably look through the box once or twice. I probably won't even bother looking at the uh, the film itself because I'm holding out for 4K. I'm pretty sure with Arrow doing a 4K restoration on it, and I have seen a 4K presentation of it on Sky Movies, which looked absolutely brilliant. There's got to be a 4K of Robocop around the corner. So I'm going to keep uh, I'm going to keep the Blu-rays I've got for them, but obviously I would will upgrade the 4K um, of Robocop, and that would render my special edition of Robocop totally redundant. So it would just be sitting on the shelf, gathering dust, doing absolutely nothing. Although I do really like the film, so I just let it go because I thought I've got this one here. This one will do for now. It's got a lovely print on this, and you get the three films on there, and that'll keep me you know with a robocop my collection until i get the 4k and then two and three can sit in here and they'll just mind their own business and that's how i'm going to collect the robocop films and um, i don't feel the need to break the bank well it's not even breaking the bank paying 15 pound for it but as a special edition it's going to be probably for me personally one of the most useless special editions and i think that's why it didn't sell that good because actually it's a sort of the special edition that nobody asked for if that's a thing the 4K section had some tempting stuff in there, but it was one of them things where the just the things weren't in the right sale. There was things like there was I thought right after seeing some reviews by uh, Keith from Euphoria Pictures and also John from Movie Collector, linked down below to those those two channels. Uh, they said that Superman the movie on 4K was really good, but you had to get through the first sort of 20 minutes of it because it's just the way that it was shot. The print was not that good in the first 20 minutes, which maybe put a few people off. And I heard bad things about it, but after hearing their thing, I thought, right, I can put up with that. I can get into this film because I didn't want it 4K. Of course, then you go to the shelf and it's £21 and you think, I don't think so. This should be something that's always in the sale. If it's got a sale in there for two for £30 or three for £10, Superman, because it's been off for that long, should be in there. And there's a few that were really good, but I just couldn't get the seal working for us, so I left their 4K section alone, unfortunately. I did also have in my hand, for a brief time, the Kubrick box set, which was £50, which is a great the, the, uh, 4K, it's got a couple of 4K titles in it, and also it's got a couple of Blu-ray titles in it. And um, it's got, but the, the problem is I've got all the films. There's no film in there that I don't want, and I would just be buying it to double up. Plus my Shining, my 2001 or better versions presentation wise that's in the box set the box set's nice but for 50 pounds as robocop would have been it would have been total waste of money for me that would have been sort of like 65 pounds on something that you would look at and go hmm, like that it's not going to help me any way shape or form so anyway with that in mind i went around mooching around to see what i can get that would really work for me so first in the uh, the arrow section i saw this one which is Sister Street Fighter Collection. Now, I didn't know too much about this, and I thought it was about two films in it, but there's actually four films in it. They're not very long. Uh, one of them, the first one is on one disc, and then the last three on another disc, which they could have done two on either versions, but on either disc, that's just the way it went. And uh, it's pretty bare bones. There's no slip cover in it, unfortunately. There's no booklet, but it's, it is what it is. It's basically, there's a lot of these uh, Arrow ones, which... I don't really mind not getting the, the, the best versions of it because I think this at 9 99 for four films you can't groan about this at all I've checked it out the quality on the films is really good actually and um, I think they're from early 70s and they do look quite interesting as well the girl who plays uh, the, the sort of lead in this plays up through the four films and uh, she looks quite uh, quite good as well quite entertaining and quite uh, quite visually striking so I'm happy to get this one. I heard a few people talking about this and I thought, right, that's it's time to make the jump on this. And plus, it said it was £30, but there's no way I'd pay £30 for it. Especially if it didn't have, if it was £30, it would have to have a slip case in the booklet. But for £10, can't grumble with that one. The next one was a one that was £7.99. There was a load in £7.99 nine ones, and I did sort of pick up a few of them, but I had to put them back. And the one I ended up with was because it had a slip cover, which, and it was, it is the limited edition for £7.99, is I see you. Now I've heard a lot about this film. Don't know anything about it really, if I'm honest. And uh, that's the best way. I'm going to watch it sort of blind. But it's got a nice slip cover on here. Um, I've left the shrink wrap on, although I have opened it. And uh, it's got a reversible art, which I've I've reversed around. So there's some reversible art on there, which is pretty good actually. 
Um, so I always flip it around as most people do when they get a slip case on and they get reversible art, they'll swap it around. So we've got the best of both worlds. So that's for $7.99 ICU. Like I say, I've heard a lot of people saying good things about it. So I thought, why not? It's one of them films where when I heard it coming out, I didn't really know anything about it. So I'd like to sort of see how it goes. And I usually pick these ones up in sales when I see them. I didn't expect it to get the slip cover or the, um, the sort of booklet with it as well, which was really good. So the next one was a one I've been after for quite a while and it spurned me on by uh, another subscriber mail that I got from Leon Talks Film and he got me the box set of Young Master from 88 Films of Jackie Chan's classic Young Master film. I wouldn't say this was, in my eyes, classed as a classic but I am interested in seeing it again although I've seen it a long time ago and I can't really remember anything about it. Um, but one of the main selling points on this film is and when I first saw it when it first came out and I paid 14.99 for this one uh, full price but I really am interested in getting this uh, slip cover because the slip cover to me was just just looked amazing and um, I love the artwork that 88 are putting in the recent Jackie Chan films and uh, it is 1976 I believe the new Fist of Fury now that that artwork there is just absolutely brilliant for some reason I just love that what they're doing with this artwork now I think the fella who does it is called Kung Fu Bob O'Brien, I believe, and I think he does all the artwork on this uh, these releases, and I just love the look of it. I think I will get the slipcover versions of these films. Uh, I think if they didn't have the slipcovers on and they weren't special editions, I wouldn't be that that um, sort of bothered about it. But I have uh, flipped the flipped the cover, so I flipped the cover on that one as well. It's got quite a good um, uh, I would imagine that's the original artwork there. And it's also got a nice booklet in as well. So it's quite a good little special edition for £15. Because you get a booklet in, you get reversible art. And, the, and you get two versions of the film. You get like a two hour one version of the film. And a sort of a smaller one which is more, more like an 80 minute or 88 minute film. I'll probably show the short, shorter versions. So I will definitely watch the full version. There's not much extras apart from that. But you get two versions of the film on. So I suppose that's, you could class one of the film, one of them as a one of the special features is another version of the film. So the next one I saw right at the front of the shop and I looked at it and it said it was £20. And I thought, well, that's a bit too much for me. I might get it on uh, Amazon. So I went all around the shop. Uh, I put my Robocop back and I went back to this one. I thought, well, I'll just pick it up and just have a little look at it. So when I turned it around, it said it was £14.99, which it was at the thing. I don't know why it was in there on the, the bottom of it. It says for £19.99. I'm so glad it wasn't. So if you want to know more about this movie, I urge you to check out that review that Leon did. Um, he does a fantastic, when he does a review, he does it well. So um, look at that one and you find everything you want to know about this. And it is the Black Label 88 uh, release of Spookies. Now I haven't, I have seen Spookies before, but I haven't seen it for the longest time. Uh, I must admit that I can't remember anything about it, if I'm honest. But I have flicked it on just to have a quick look at it. And it looks, the print on it looks really nice. And uh, you do get the film here, but you get another disc which has um, a history of the the, uh, the, the infamous uh, video slash early DVD um, label Vipco, and they used to release some of the um, the really bad video nasties. They were heavily cut. They were really bad copies. But the, I'm dying to watch these um, these documentaries. That's part of the reason why I wanted this uh, this this version. So you don't get any reversible covers on here, unfortunately. But you do get two discs and the disc the disc its film looks the disc itself looks really nice and also you do get this lovely booklet here which is um very well present presented so this is spine number 19 from 1986 spookies and i don't collect all of their releases because i think they're all some of them are good some of them are just okay in my estimation of uh, just films i would have in my collection but i'm really excited to get this one especially the the stuff about the Vip, the vipco i really so i was a big fan of vipco back in the day and they were very exploitational as well so this is a, a quite a good uh, documentary to to make actually i don't know why it's stuck on the end of spookies but i'm really interested to see uh to, to watch that probably more than the film if i'm honest so okay as promised uh, to end this video i think it's time for some shout outs So the first shout I would like to give is to the channel Future Boy. 
Now this channel does lots of rankings and also uh, reviews on movies and I do have a, a lot of fun with this this, uh, this this channel and it's just a new channel just just one that's just come out recently to my knowledge and um, I, I do think that this channel is going to progress a lot and it's great when these channels are introduced into the community and they can sort of uh, the word spreads around and these channels you've seen these channels come in at 30 subscribers and then just kind of flourish which so, that's the first shout out is for the channel Future Boy. So the next channel is a channel called Pro Physical Media. Now this channel is run by Nos, I think he's called Nos, and uh, he's rebranded his channel recently to this, this name. It used to be like a Welsh name or his Welsh name, but I think uh, me, myself included found it hard to pronounce. And um, this, this has meant his channel is starting to grow and he's putting a lot of great stuff on there. Stuff is very entertaining to watch. I have a, a great time with this with these uh, channels. And um, I do think that these people will be channels that will be big channels in the future. And uh, I like to think that uh, everyone would, would check them out. So I think these up and coming channels, uh, when they get this little bit of a, a sort of kickstart, um, it just makes these, you know, the channels grow to that a little bit more and they can sort of uh, feel the benefit from a, a shout out. And uh, I do believe in shout outs are just one of the best tools you can give uh, somebody in their progression in, in YouTube. I know it's helped me out amazingly over the, the last 11 months. And uh, it's something I like to do as well. When you, you get a, to speak to a channel, I know a channel, you think instantly, I'll make a note of that and then I will give them a shout out on a video. So that's Pro Physical Media. So this next channel came to my attention uh, from a shout out that Lauren from Lauren's Collection, linked down below, uh, gave and uh, I thought right I'll check that out and I, I do really like the content on here and what I've noticed is that the channel at the moment is on 97 subscribers, it's figure and things and um, he's got a great great channel, very funny, very entertaining, a lot of uh, Doctor Who stuff on there which is something I really do like and um, so with them being on 97, hopefully with a shout out at this point, might get them over to that uh, that milestone of the hunt. The first 100 subscribers was also, I think, is one of the best uh, milestones you can never get. It makes you feel like, wow, this is just uh, happening, you know, and uh, when you get your first 100 subscribers, I think it's a really good um, um, boost to your confidence. And so 97 subscribers, I think that would be, it'd be great if we could get them over 100 subscribers. So saying that, these uh, next few channels I want to give a shout out to is ones you've probably heard of, but if you haven't heard of them, I urge you to get across because these people are reaching uh, some milestones as well. And the first one I want to give a shout out to is JT at the Movies, that's James. Uh, I think um, most people would know James's channel, he's got an amazing channel, it's, it's so entertaining, absolutely brilliant. I've had loads of uh, chats with James, we're going to do loads of things in the future, can't wait to sort of get started with that. Uh, collaborations and musical stuff and it's just going to be brilliant so but he is uh, 288 subscribers getting close to that 300 mark and uh, his channel has grown from strength to strength quite quite rightly he's got an amazing collection his uh, videos that he has of when he's uh, set his collection up has to be seen to be, be believed he's got a full room not i've got a full shelf wall should i say he's got a full room of movies which is just absolutely amazing to watch and see so uh, that's JT at the movies. Um, he's very close to the 300 mark, and I'm sure well, he will get there. But I'd love to think we can give him a little bit of a hand to do that. And the next one is a shout out, kind of. It, I've already given a shout out to this channel on this one, but I want to give another shout out just to say that Leon Talks Film, Leon, uh, is at 597 subscribers. Now he's so close to 600 subscribers. I'm not surprised in any way, shape, or form because his channel is absolutely brilliant. The content he puts on there is just incredible his collection is just astounding i can't wait for him to do a full collection video it's just going to be immense um he's got a vast amount of knowledge probably the most knowledge i know of a young person uh, who's coming into this this uh, collecting physical media um he's a great engaging guy he's very friendly um i'm loving i've done some collaborations with him and want to do many more with them uh, they will all be around the corner i'm sure of it uh, but I would love to see him as he will be he's probably actually he's probably on 600 by the time this video goes up But uh, I just want to give him a shout out because he's that close to the 600 mark, which is well deserved So the last channel I like to give a shout out to is my good friend Carl Carlino 9 uh, He's just put a video up recently saying that his, uh, his father is in some bad health And uh, I just want him to know that I'm wishing him and his father uh, a speedy recovery 
and I hope that everything goes okay and uh, we're all thinking about you Carl because he's a great guy and um, everybody knows Carl and uh, we couldn't wish him I'm not sure I can speak for everybody in here let's say we wish you and your family and your father uh, all the, the health and happiness that's coming to you and fingers are crossed and everything for you and just want to know that we're all thinking about you Carl and uh, do check this channel out he's, he's a great fella and uh, one of the best on here actually he's just such a nice bloke and that's genuinely just he's a genuinely nice fella and I'm just saying that and uh, so all the best to you and your family Carl and we're all thinking about you mate okay right so thanks very much for watching this video please do check out everything I've talked about on here and do check out Tom Pearson's amazing channel and amazing work I mean come on you know this is just you know there's drones and there's drones wow uh, so okay so thanks very much for watching this video you take care and I'll see you next time